Secretary, your reaction to the June jobs report? It's a good, strong, solid report. We're, we're happy to see, I'm happy to see 800,000 jobs uh, gained here. Uh, obviously, the strongest areas are hospitality, restaurants. Uh, we're seeing good gain coming back in those, in those sectors as well. And we've seen some, some, some moderate uh, job growth, I mean, uh, wage, wage growth, which is great as well. So uh, overall, it's a good report. We, we certainly know we still have work to do, but it shows that President Biden's economic plan has been working uh, since the president has been in office. Where he's added about 600,000 jobs per month, which is, which is a good sign for our country and a good sign coming out of the pandemic. Secretary, the last time you and I spoke, you said you did not see worker shortages as a problem. You did not believe enhanced unemployment benefits were keeping people home. But since then, more than 24 states have dropped enhancement unemployment benefits. The White House has sort of changed its stance, saying states got to do what they want to do. Have you changed your view? No, I, I haven't. And I anticipated this question was going to come to me today. Uh, so we, we looked at the states where, where they've either dropped or, or threatening to drop the unemployment extended benefit, and we're not seeing any, anybody there. Uh, we haven't seen a reduction in people going back looking into work. So we're seeing there's no correlation between the, the $300 dropping it and people going back into the job market. We haven't seen it uh, in the last month. Do we necessarily have to look at dropping benefits as a bad thing? It's a great thing that after many, many months of suffering, we're actually recovering quicker than we thought. Can that money be used in other ways to impact people in places where they need it, even if they don't need it in expanded unemployment? Well, actually, I, I believe they need an expanded unemployment. They need it to keep food on the table. They need it to keep a roof over their head. Uh, this has been a difficult year for a lot of people. Uh, lots of folks that were on unemployment, they lost their job. Uh, many Americans didn't lose their job during the pandemic. Companies were able to, to, to adjust to telework and able to adjust to keep them on, on the payroll. They were able to keep their, their pensions, their 401ks, their health care. Uh, and, and, you know, millions of Americans lost their job completely and they didn't know what the future was going to bring. So that $300 is helping families get through this pandemic. Uh, there's a few more, a couple more months left of the, of the extension of the benefits and it looks like it's lining up at the right it's going to end at the right time because the president's plan was to to add uh, extended benefits there through the month of september with the anticipation that our economy was going to continue to come back people were going to go back to work and, and what the president laid out was seeing it in, in, r happening in real time so why do you think we have so many open jobs we, we're still coming out of a pandemic. I think that if you look at the last six months and you look at the president's economic plan, you look at the American Rescue Plan, and you look at the amount of people being vaccinated, as more and more people getting vaccinated, as, as more and more money's going back into in industries like child care, we're seeing more and more people come into the workforce. We're going to continue, hopefully, to see that number grow uh, in, a, in a good pace over the next two or three, four months. Given that we are clearly, and it's very good news, on the road to recovery, and we have an over trillion dollar bipartisan proposal for an infrastructure package, do you need to push more spending through beyond that right now? I'm talking about the human infrastructure package. Yeah, I wouldn't look at it as spending. I was look, I'd look at it as investment in, in the human infrastructure. And there's clearly gaps that we're seeing. Uh, the unemployment rate right now uh, in, in the black community is 9.2 percent. The unemployment rate in the Latino community is 7.4 percent. There, there are lots of opportunities for us to, to create an equal economy for all people. There's money in there for job training. There's money in there for apprentice programs. There's money in there for our CARES economy as far as, as, far as adult care, child care, in our educational system. So uh, th those are investments that, that are long, long term and, and, and look forward looking investments that we're going to be making here uh, to continue to move our country forward.